Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast. I just, um, I'm just running a marathon tomorrow, so just got a couple minutes to talk to you, but I wanted to go over some kind of hidden free things that you can get on uh, various websites, depending on what you're interested in. Uh, so again, I've still got some free book codes uh, for my uh, 13 books, uh, varying uh, on topics, whether you're interested in uh, college interviews and admissions, and this is all at memorizingfarm.com, P-H-A-R-M, uh, uh, or career residency entrepreneurship, uh, pharmacology in the top 200, or pharmacotherapy. Uh, there's some still uh, audiobook codes there. You're welcome to take as many as you like. Um, there's another website called audiobookboom.com, and because I like nonfiction, uh, nonfiction doesn't sell anywhere near as well as fiction. So if you're especially a nonfiction reader, uh, what you do is you go to audiobookboom.com and hit listener, sign up for free. And they have a list of the, just put in your email address, and then they have a list of uh, different genres that you can uh, click. And every Tuesday, you'll get an email, and they'll send you uh, books that you're interested in. And I think I clicked on like uh, a couple of the fiction ones, like uh, mysteries and um, even literary fiction. Uh, I don't know if I did sci-fi, maybe. Um, but then I put general nonfiction and uh, biographies and memoirs. And what I find is that you're much more likely to get a book if it's in nonfiction than in fiction, just because so many people like uh, fiction. And those books are free and it's up to the author to pay this website uh, to distribute the uh, books to them. But just another way to get some free uh, audiobooks if you want something to listen to that is outside of pharmacy. Um, and I always am listening to, when you if you look at my Audible, you, you'll usually see that I have one nonfiction and one fiction book open at any given time. Because at some times of the day, I'm just like, I don't want to deal with anything. Just take me to another place. And other times, I'm like, all right, I'm in. Let's uh, learn something. So uh, audiobookboom.com, I use it. It's pretty cool. Uh, Pharmacy Leaders Podcast. Uh, so I met Create Penn, uh, Joanna Penn, uh, a couple years ago on online. She lives in, in England. And uh, I definitely recommend listening to that Make a Living as a Writer episode with her, episode 230. Uh, she talks really just dropping value bombs about uh, being an author and things like that. Really helped me out. Just said, hey, go to Author Central. Uh, this is who you call and they'll fix your author link because I'd put Anthony Guerra instead of Tony Guerra and it has to match identically. Otherwise, it won't click through right. So uh, it was really helpful to me. And she has some free resources, so if you go to thecreativepen.com and then resources or forward slash resources, she'll give you a free author 2.0 blueprint, which is how to write, publish, and market your book. And then she has been kind of nice enough to distribute it into six different categories. In Even if you go back and forth, which I don't, uh, between fiction and nonfiction, uh, she has a different button for each of those. So if you're writing a novel or writing nonfiction, uh, she has uh, those two choices. Uh, the author mindset, which is kind of getting your head in it, because a lot of times you reject yourself before you ever let other people uh, look at your book, and maybe they could use your book. Maybe they really need your book. Uh, then she also talks about publishing your book, marketing your book, and then actually making money writing. So I uh, kind of set it up in a really cool way, but uh, definitely get the author blueprint from her. It's free. Uh, TLDR Pharmacy always uh, provides this. You may or may not know this, uh, but if you go to uh, the TLDR Pharmacy page, .com page, go to the bottom, uh, you get three things, an antibiotic cheat sheet, which is really, really good, uh, residency job interview evaluation form, and then chapter one of Pharmacy School, the missing manual. So something for the practitioner, the antibiotic cheat sheet, or P3, P4. Same thing for residency job interview, P3, P4, and then chapter one uh, for the pharmacy student. Um, so a lot of people study for the NAPLEX. It's this kind of thing that you do at the end of school. 
But honestly, if you just kept up with his website for the last three years, you would be pretty well prepared for a lot of the questions that are on there, and you'd be uh, in very good shape. So I recommend uh, sticking with it. I want to say about every two weeks comes out with a great post, and it's really valuable, and I uh, definitely recommend to you the R Pharmacy. Uh, MedEd 101 uh, as well has a free top 200 study guide. You can just look in the top right link. Um, and then <clears throat> this is his podcast, reallifepharmacology.com. This is something that you don't do in class, uh, which I really think you should, but obviously there's not enough time. And he goes through one drug at a time or one class at a time, and that's it. So each of these episodes, maybe seven minutes to 15 minutes at most uh, about some specific drug and what's going on with it. And it's a bite-sized piece. It really, really is. And it makes it a lot easier to, to learn. Uh, so definitely like Eric Christensen at MedEd 101. And then guides and checklists uh, over at Your Financial Pharmacist. Uh, they kind of give you so many choices. So it's kind of where you're at. Um, where I would be would be, I guess, the pharmacist guide to a million dollars, step-by-step plan to build wealth. But the way that I do things and the way that I invest is is very different than most. I'm looking for at least anytime I do something, I'm expecting a hundred percent return, which is uh, I'm willing to take very high risks, which is lose all my money uh, because I I really invest more like a, a Silicon Valley. Um, I am certainly not one, but uh, like a Silicon Valley uh, angel or something like that, where uh, I'm willing to take six or seven failures uh, to get one or two absolute, you know, hit it out of the park um, blowouts. So, uh, but uh, there's really all of those different places that you might be, whether it's your student loans and kind of starting to figure those out. Uh, whether it's insurance, you're having kids, something like that, or you're just looking for a financial planner to help you along the way. You just graduated, your loans are going to come due here in a couple months, uh, and you're just not sure what to do. But uh, check those guys out. Uh, definitely some th free things you can get there. So I uh, hope this was helpful. But um, again, uh, lots of free stuff out there, lots of very valuable stuff out. And just because it's free doesn't mean it's not valuable. Uh, and I definitely think that you should check them out. So have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you next week.